Bit in Siena. What do we got? Wizard in Crimson. Yellow ochre. Yellow ochre. Look at that. Titanium white. Look at that. Magenta. My trusty old favourite. Pretty and green. Nice neutral green so you can get any sort of colour you want with that one. I might actually just paint that scene right now, right there. Let's get into it.
All right, well, the light's just about gone now. Just a quick little impression to warm me up. Got the warm and cool color contrast. The sun's already gone off the banks there. There's a little bit around on some of the sides here, but right here, the sun's not hitting the trees anymore. Fleeting moment, but the sky's still got a similar color to what's happening now. All pretty good, pretty happy. What I might do is just have a quick look, and if I need to do any fine tuning, just before the sun finally disappears completely, I might do it. Let's have a look. All right, I don't, the camera, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but the moon is just rising now. I feel pretty happy with all the subtle colours I've got there. It's all happening, very spontaneous. There's the moon. All right, time for a morning shot. Beautiful. Sun's over that way today, so I'm going to be painting as the sun rises, looking this way and hopefully light this stuff up and get the beautiful colours in the sky. Serenity. All right, let's get into it.
It's all happening now. We've got the belt of Venus going off. You little ripper. Let's get stuck back into it. All right, well, that'll do it. Got the belt of Venus, everything's identical. If I leave it, do any more. The idea was just to get it before the sun rises. Now, in a couple of minutes time, the sun's gonna strike all this stuff and that'll all go orange and everything, but the effect will be different. I was actually after the pre-dawn, just that feeling of when you still got that mysterious shadow sort of feeling. You got the belt of Venus glowing as it is over there right now. And the sun hasn't actually hit yet. It's just something mysterious. When mysterious and beautiful about that. Could go to the next phase and put the orange highlights on and whatever else, but I feel like this is actually very nice just as, as it is. So I'll leave it like that. Such a beautiful morning, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. All right. Few more twigs in. Lovely. Bit of a smoky start. That's got it. Looks like it's going to be another lovely day. Absolutely.
Bit of pumpkin and sweet potato frying away. Lovely stuff. Now, if I can fit this in, we got mushrooms, onions, due to a bunch of whole pork planting, no garlic. I normally have garlic in this. But I do have ginger, fresh ginger, absolutely beautiful. Really helps give it a bit of flavour. Just got to try and get this in here. Most of it's going in. There we go. Bit of a stir up. Sounds lovely. Turn it down a little bit. That's the bonus of uh, these tripods for cooking. So easy to organize the temperature just by raising it up and down. That's sounding great. Just stir around a little bit more and uh, oh, that smells beautiful. That mushroom sizzling away. It smells absolutely fantastic. Now I've got a few secret herbs and spices here. I love a bit of turmeric so I'll put a bit of that in. Adds an interesting flavour. Bit of chilli. One, two, three, four. Four seems to be about the right heat for that much food. And some cumin. I love the flavour of cumin too. Throw that in. I'll stir that one up. That smells absolutely delicious. That cumin gives off a beautiful aroma. Gonna go some red kidney beans tonight. Mix that all in. Tin of tomatoes. Oops. Going all over the shop. There we go. Right, we'll let that cook for a while, simmer away. Add a little bit of water probably, but for now I'll just leave it at that. Bit of black pepper right at the end. Lovely feed. Another beautiful evening. I'm just going to observe the sundown tonight. I did that three o'clock painting and that worked out absolutely beautiful. Going to observe all the colours tonight and tomorrow morning get stuck into another fresh morning painting. Really enjoying being out here, getting away from it all. Every kitchen needs a tap. Beautiful.
All right, this stuff looks good. Let's have a taste. Spot on. All right, that'll do it. Just a quick little impression, just as the sun's about to rise, the color's already just starting to fade. It's just one of those momentary effects that it's there, you capture it, literally a minute later it starts to go. And it's just starting to fade now, but there's still a bit of color around. Anyway, pretty happy with what's going on. Got some nice subtle, it's all about subtlety in this one. There's a little bit of high level clouds just kicked in this morning. So we've got these subtle gradients different pinks and whatever in amongst that soft dawn light all right now like i said camps on the other side of the river i canoed over here to get the uh, ideal location down the river and get enough distance what i'm going to do now is head back to camp okay put that one over there out of the way Grab all these paints. Like I've said other times too, I like to order the paint. I have the paint set up in a specific order in the paint box here itself. And that way straight away I know if I've left a color behind because it won't be appearing in the right position. It's always a good way to go if you moving around a lot and painting and quickly changing locations, whatever. Straight up you'll know if there's something missing. I can go in there. All right. Getting that beautiful morning light starting to strike things now. All right, so we've got that one. Alrighty. Okay. Let's get this stuff on board the the vessel. And away we go. sit up in here somewhere. It seems to sit there alright. And go in there.
How's the serenity, eh? Absolutely beautiful. Got the full moon setting in the backdrop. Just enjoy the serenity in general. Absolutely lovely, eh? Pretty happy with that little painting. Just a nice soft morning light rather than a full on harsh light. There's a subtlety and softness about that last piece. Which is always nice. So that's all very well and good. Now let's get back to camp, have a bit of breakfast and unfortunately I've got to chuff off today and head back home. Oh well, it's just all part of it I guess. But I've had a great trip. Thanks for watching you guys, really appreciate it. Hope you've enjoyed the trip too. And uh, here's to many more. Lovely. All right, this is us here. Just docking. Here we go. Let's get the billy on. Oh, righty. <clears throat> well, that was a bit of fun. Just on the bank on the other side from where you can see now, that's where I went across, painted the picture. And then I could see down the river way better. Just here I'm on a bit of a bend, so you can't actually see around, but over that side, beautiful angle down. So, it worked well, really happy with that. Like I said, it was a very subtle morning. It was kind of softer. There was more high level cloud. It wasn't the super strong, brightest, brightest, richest colors. It was more of those kind of pastel-y soft colors. And that's the beauty about painting plain air. You get to have all that variety because you're there at the moment painting what you're inspired by. Sometimes it's a super strong sunrise with beautiful oranges are really striking and you get those complementary colors. And other times it's a more subtle, gentle, which was more like this morning. Anyway. There we go. Let's get that on the brew, that on the boil. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed the whole thing, the whole process of being out here in the bush, painting on location, camping, eating, sleeping. The whole thing is just fantastic. I really enjoy it and I hope you do too. I'll take all this work back to my gallery. If you haven't seen, you probably have. I've got a gallery now in Harndorf and uh, spend a lot of time there. So it's really great to get these opportunities to come out in the bush and paint. I'm gonna to have to make more time for it. But at the same time, I also really enjoy running the gallery and meeting people and whatever else and talking to the people who follow my work so the whole thing's great works out well so now I've got a good place to showcase my work I guess you could say at the same time still get out in the bush and enjoy and paint out here on the whole win-win situation that kettle's starting to make a few noises so I'll get that 
cup and uh, a little bit of tea worked out and we'll be good as gold. Well, that's just come onto the boil, so I thought I'd get it off, off the heat quick smart. Little tea ball here, good for drawing the tea. How much heat we got there? In the handle, not too bad. Fair bit of heat in the spout by the sound of it. <laughs> 